sad, ma mère s'est une classe. Allez, allez, papa. Allez, allez, allez. Ayo, me sent à cette élève en vivant. Oh, moi là, je souris. Allez, nous. Eh, ayo, tu fais ça, tu te bazel. Et nous, c'est les papa. Pas me trouver de la quai là pour promener, promener. Yes, c'est une classe qui est dans le travail. Gete, elle la quai. Deux Allez. Mute, 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 là-bas, mon métal, tout bataille qui peut dérouler. Mute, là-bas, là. Allez. Today, we are going to do on unit 4. Tout le monde a vraiment ce assignment. Qui veut dire? Je me dis, oui, je ne sais pas. Assignment. ไอ้กิจกรรมเสร็จกูเสร็จปุ๋มว่าบิลเลยไอ้เดี๋ยวสัตว์สัตว์ไม่ได้ไอ้เดี๋ยวสัตว์ไม่ได้ไอ้เด
So let us move on to unit four. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez des questions concernant uh, ma unit qui nous fait avant, surtout unit trois, leur méthodologie? Est-ce que vous avez des questions? Madame, vous n'avez pas éclairé si vous avez des interprétations? Interprétations, let, let me just go back on uh, my... Uh, euh, interpretivist, qui, qui te peut vous le dire? You, you mean positivist and interpretivist? C'est ça? Et, non, mais tu veux bien, tu peux plier classiquement avec un exemple tout là-dedans. Ok. Uh, have you checked on, uh, on Moodle recently? No, no. Uh, go and see, I have sent so many notes for you. And in these notes, there are all that. How many of you have seen that I have sent so many handouts on, uh, on Moodle? Have you seen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. ma'am. Alors, run my service. You are going to read all these notes that I have been sending you. Et 80% ce qui est dans sa bande notes là, plus ce qui veut expliquer, ça même pour ce type pour les examens. C'est ça fait mon capable de résoudre. Me connais qui veut envoyer. So you please read all these. And you please revise all my slides. Bien sûr, là, je peux expliquer, je peux causer, you just grasp what I'm saying. You can even take notes when I talk, because when I talk, ça va une période là. Beaucoup de choses qui sont au-dessus de mon labou, c'est un hit qui risque de sortir pour les examens. Les élèves qui habitent avec moi, qui peuvent écouter, for sure, I'm going to just give you a hint. What? Might be coming up for the exams. Mrs. Afemoka, yes, please go and read all these notes that I have been, I have sent you on Moodle. So getting back to your question, what I can tell you, you have two types of uh, approaches. You have the positivist approach and the interpretivist approach. Positivist approach, they use quantitative method. Interpretive uh, uh, method approach, they use the qualitative method. Qualitative, c'est à dire que tout n'existe pas interpretiviste. Il veut un petit bout de l'eau interpretive, interprète, interprète. Comment tu interprètes un affaire? Tu interprètes un affaire plutôt en. Nous ne pouvons pas interpréter un affaire en, en chiffre, of course, like the positivist. But when we talk of interpreting, can you cause a can you move with your pizza? I you better connect how to call interpret tell or tell is affair. For me personally, how I, I use to differentiate between positivist and interpretivist is that when you use interpretivist, you have that word interpret. Interpret means just to put servi plus de détails. Je vous servi beaucoup plus de détails là-dedans. Mais le détail de qui te parle servi, c'est de l'interview. De l'interview que tu peux servi pour un uh, open-ended questions. Quand tu peux servi open-ended questions, là, là, tu peux dire que tu peux exprimer tout ce so, so, so feeling, ce so bon uh, point de vue. Là, là, this is where you can differentiate between positivist and Interpretivist, c'est-à-dire l'autre côté, là, là, tu peux servir qualitatif, qualitatif, que tu es capable d'expandre, tu peux gagner maximum d'informations. Au fait, qualitatif, c'est de pas gagner ce euh, so, so information comme tu peux dire live and direct, quand tu peux faire une interview avec un jour. You are doing a face-to-face -face interview, right? This is the best method of having the most valid information, dans le sens que tu peux là, il gagne des emplois. Il peut causer toi, non seulement ce qui tu m'as là peut causer qui est important, ou bien réponse qui lui peut rendre qui est important, 
basically important also you have that body language of that person the person is in front of you so you have that body language of the person which you can at least decipher du monde là ce point de vue euh, so, 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 so expression facial ils ont posé une question là elle a fait les cafés qui est le sénégalais pour bien ça il est pas trop wow avec sa chose là ou bien ce sont des problèmes qu'on se laisse souci so, so these are all body languages so all these body languages they use they are being used as comment dire un petit point saillant pour être capable de euh, donner une euh, man, 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 description all right so this is very important Maintenant, venons à positivisme. Positivisme, c'est carrément quantitatif. They use quantitative method. Et quantitative, c'est tout, tout simplement quand tu penses quantitative, pense this statistics more richest. Mais dès que tu as fait nos statistiques, tu as fait en chiffres, pie charts, bar charts, etc. OK? Uh, who asked me that question? Mrs. Gourjian, is that you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. OK, is that clear now? Oui, oui, madame. Oui, c'est pas clair. Ouais, non, non, parce que c'est euh, la façon plus claire qui m'a gardé, c'est que je te dis, ça, ce qui m'a dit à juste là, c'est que euh, la description, les vides, et tout le temps penser que. Euh, allez, nous, nous prenons un exemple bien simple. Il okay? euh, y a des stéréotypes qui vont une femme qu'on t'a fait par là. Ce n'est pas le cas, ce n'est pas le cas. Excusez-moi. Les podcasters peuvent trouver des hommes qui font plus beaucoup de palabres qu'ils savent. Sorry les messieurs, mais c'est comme ça. Et ils ont un petit palabre pour dérouler. Hein? Ils ont un petit palabre pour dérouler. La façon dont ils peuvent expliquer les affaires. You can at least decipher. You can at least know how far what the person is saying is true. À qui point il est certain euh, euh, intensité de vérité dans ce qu'il peut dire. C'est pour ce body language, pour ce tone of voice, pour ce façon qu'il est exprimé. Beaucoup de fait que vous avez un petit peu de causé pour ça, vous pouvez know a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Believe me, je apprends ça beaucoup. Et pas que je m'en ai dit, 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 I sit down with the person, I just listen to how the person talks, the way the person talks, the body language of the person, so you can just decipher what type of person that person is. Et est-ce que ce qu'il peut dire là, il y a une certaine dose vraiment de, de vérité là-dedans où il peut bluffer. No? So this is the main difference between interpretivist and positivist. Ok, Mrs. Gourouchan, Gourouchan, oui. C'est bon, c'est clair? Oui, madame, oui. Any other question, please? Je vous écoute. Non, pas de question. I'm sure that if you read the notes that I have sent you, You are going to find it easy. Et malgré ça, pas les autres classes finies les bonnes notes là, pas les autres classes qui nous prennent après. If you need to have any clarification on the notes, then we can discuss about it. We can then please ask. Me. Is that right? But for today, let me just move on to that unit four, which is on the society and culture. So what is culture? We did that, that part a little bit when we started our first unit. But this one is a little bit more in detail. Okay. So what is culture? It refers to the language, the belief, the values and norms, customs, stress, diet, goals, knowledge and skills. And all the other things that people learn that make up the way of life of any society. Now, culture is passed on from one generation to the next through the process of socialization. Now, what are values? Values are general beliefs about what is right or wrong or about the important standards which are worth maintaining and achieving in any society or social group. 
uh, what are norms? Norms are social rules which define the correct and acceptable behavior in a society or social group to which people are expected to conform. Give me one example of a norm. Give me one yeah. example of a norm. Or do you mask? Oui, bien Correct. And give me one example of a value. Yes, après. Respect. Yes, you have respect, you have discipline. Uh, respect for hierarchy, respect for elders, etc. So these are values. Très bien. Now, what is socialization? It is the lifelong process by which people learn the culture of the society in which they live. Uh, so when we talk of socialization, it is a lifelong process by which people learn the culture of the society, of the society in which they live. C'est vrai que, you know, learning never ends. Mon concept, bien même moi, parce que bien, ça l'a jamais mon copie à prendre. So learning never ends, you keep on learning. Mais t'as oublié ban learning académique, but we still learn every, every day we learn something, uh, you and uh, it's uh, c'est comme ça. Il y a beaucoup de personnes qui qui pensent que okay, we are done, we know everything. But uh, practice speaking, each and every day, you keep on learning so many things. Now, socialization is carried out by agencies of socialization, such as the family, the education system, religious institutions, or the mass media. So, just to tell you que, you know, socialization is one aspect which is very, very important in the life of a person. Pourquoi? Parce que it's through primary socialization also that we, I guess we have it just after. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's come to this one. Let's come to, so socialization is carried out by agencies. The agencies of socialization, you have the family the education system, religious institutions, and the mass media. Now let's come to the primary socialization. Now what is primary socialization? It is socialization during the early years of childhood and is carried out by the family or close community. And then the primary socialization is a concept that uh, primordial de la vie and, and du monde, right? Why we say that? Because it starts by the early years of childhood. You know, when you're a child, and the enfants, ils ont tendance à prendre tout ce qui les trouve en grand du monde faire, tout ce qui se parent faire, ils ont tendance pour copier pareil ce qu'ils font, right? Mm -hmm. Mais quelque part, c'est le devoir du parent pour les capables d'instiller and then we are going to say, use the word internalize. This is a technical word used in sociology. When we say that a person is going to internalize the norms and values that he gets from primary socialization, c'est-à-dire, and it's an example, yes, sir. Très bien, qui est-ce qu'il y a un parent pour montrer ses enfants? C'est, bon, il va attendre les enfants là, comment se causer? Les enfants là, pour comment se causer, pour comment s'appeler papa, maman, etc. Premier affaire qui parent là, pour montrer, pour dire aux enfants là, avec la famille, il va dire bonjour. Hein? Premier, premier affaire. Now, when we come to culture, pour comment se montrer la culture qu'il disait, suivre, pas n'est-ce pas, pour comment se montrer les faire. Catholic, etc. Ça qu'un peu dans ce façon pour les montrer ces enfants qui parlent ce basique de la culture. Can you please mute? J'entends tout là. Can you please mute, please? Uh, so when 
Um, so these Yui. early years of childhood is where the uh, child is going to grasp maximum things uh, that the uh, elders, the parents are uh, instilling or internalizing into with the child. Now the children first begin to learn about basic values and norms of society and begin to acquire their sense of who they are as individuals, their individual identities and significant elements of their social identities, such as their gender, ethnicity, and sexuality. For example, when they are four, chip chip, they say they are chip baba. Ah, eh, what chip baba? It's about small. So, this one. When they are chip chip, for my daddy, eh, pa galu plo, pa montlo sofa pou pile, pa fe deso, assist to atro kila, pa galu pisi, pa galu pla. Thank you. Et s'il y a une gorge, même qui peut galoper, il peut faire des autres. Vous pouvez par exemple dire, allez, laissez les gorges. Can you please mute Mr. Nicolas? J'entends tout là. Can anyone ask him to just mute? Mr. Nicolas, please mute. Merci. Yes, so I was saying, very disturbing, no? So I was saying that uh, yeah, when you have a, a boy or a girl, when we have a boy or a girl, we have a We have the tendency of saying that because we it is taken as a sort of as a stereotype. We dire in in mete quelque part qui. Okay, même quand on fait des autres, il n'y a pas de problème. It is taken because they are boys. So, and to get an answer de patriarchy qui est ingrained in our society, le dire qu'on s'en a qu'il n'y a pas de faire autant des autres bien. Mais par contre, quand c'est dans la fille, puis il n'y a pas de faire des autres, assiste-toi tranquille, pas faire des autres, qui fait bizarre, pas faire des autres. You see, that starts. It starts right there. Right? And these are, they are also no... Uh, explain about their social identities, such as their gender, their ethnicity, and their sexuality. Okay. Okay. So, what I want you to understand is that that concept of primary socialization is extremely important in the life of a person. Now, what is secondary socialization? Now, it is socialization which takes place beyond the family and close community, mm -hmm. such as through the education system, the peer group, the workplace, the mass media, and religious institutions. Now, uh, tell me how, according to you, can the education system help to socialize someone? Comment se fait-il et l'éducation peut aider? Uh, how it can help to socialize someone? The education system. Je vous écoute. The same education for all. Apprendre le respect. Oui, apprendre le respect. Discipline, friendship, discipline. How to communicate. Uh, oui, après. Et euh, nous posons plusieurs qualités, types des élèves que tu peux apprendre avec eux-mêmes, de manière de agir. Comment on appelle ça? Je veux plusieurs qualités élèves là. Je veux dire, un groupe. Friendship. This is known as no. This is known. You learn so many things through the education system by the hidden curriculum. Yes, by the peer group. Oh, so we say that. Donnez moi une minute. Eh hey, oh, baisse tes lèvres, ils là-bas là. Ils 
Yes, you have the peer group. Yes, you are going to learn so many things by, with your peer group. The education, say, we call this the hidden curriculum. When you are going to learn the school, you have this sort of curriculum. You have the formal, you have to do it, etc. Then afterwards, you have that hidden curriculum. This is the hidden curriculum is there for you to learn about uh, for you to learn about uh, punctuality, okay? To learn about punctuality, about respect, about how to, to talk to your peers. Peers to sala from party ladder. Quand you pick those peers, then at all not because peers seulement van camarades l'école. But you can be having peers uh, outside the school, right? And peer group also, it is uh, something which is very important because you can have a peer group which is which is going to bring, uh, which which will be beneficial for you. And not capable of to the move in the So don't have to be with a group who is in a manchus. But when they switch class, switch class, yeah, they don't have to be in a group. They don't have to be in a class. It's not. It's not nice to have many things for the district to handle. So you have these types, the peer group is either negative or positive, okay? If we, the workplace, now tell me how the secondary socialization is a desert workplace. Because it must have like this one. No? Whatever you are learning through the um, hidden curriculum, respect, punctuality, uh, respect for hierarchy, to sala to reflect the cause of commence a travail. Cause of commence a travail, to send to boost, to pas tell you, question sous. Right? Ou bien, you have a specific time that you need to get to work, a specific time to get out of the work. We know. But you can reflect the workplace. Then religious institutions also, it helps you to, uh, to, to uh, socialize. It helps you to socialize because get you have a Muslim in a madrasa, Aster, mon trop connaît si on peut exister de ce Zénabad Baïka, ou quoi, n'a pas son coin à Et puis, côté catholique, vous avez Diocèse de Pauloui qui fait, vous avez quatre chaises, des classes de quatre chaises, et vous avez Diocèse de Pauloui, etc. So, this is the how religious institutions are there to help uh, to socialize uh, young people. Okay? Now, secondary socialization is carried out through agencies of secondary socialization, right? Now, let's come back to the education system. So at school, most children learn a great deal of knowledge about the society in which they live, as well as the values and norms to which they will be expected to conform as adults. Ça même qui te parle conform quand tu peux aller travailler ou bien quand tu es un adulte. Pas quand on apprend à dire bonjour, quand on apprend à dire bonjour, quand on apprend à dire bonjour, quand on apprend à dire bonjour. Right? So these things, they, they keep on going through the different phases of your life. Right? Now you have a peer group, which is a group of people of similar age and status with whom a person often mixes socially. Approval and acceptance by peers is a powerful socializing influence. Uh, a fear of rejection and ridicule by peers exert an enormous influence on an individual's self-identity um, and behavior. Many, uh, okay. Many promote conformity to the wider norms of society, such as acceptance of traditional gender groups. So here you have an explanation of the peer group. 
So it can be, you can be, I can have the approval and acceptance by peers is a very powerful socializing influence that's here. When you are all accepted in a peer group, that is a podcast because you want to join that peer group. Now, if you get rejected by this peer group, ça vous dérange énormément because you wanted to, to be with this person, mais malheureusement, on n'a pas fait accepter. That doesn't go. Right? If any, if you don't ça end. It will have an effect on the person's self-identity. Then you can question yourself, what is wrong with me that these people don't want to mix up, to mingle with me? Uh, Sa faute à tête à votre identité carrément. OK? By the way, there is one, uh, there is one fil qui est un peu violent, franchement, vous dites un petit peu violent, mais qui explique vraiment, très clairement, about rejection and ridicule by peer. The film is, uh, the title of the film is Death Sentence. Try to look at this film. Et get it d'un point de vue sociologique dans le sens que il est pour montrer les autres qui, euh, qui euh, that, il montre principalement rejection and acceptance of a peer group. It's a very nice film, un petit peu violent quand même, mais il montre les autres quelque part en qui, mais ce sont les réalités de la vie that uh, I guess many people sometimes they face these situations, mais pas tout, bien sûr, mais seulement c'est quelque chose de très, de très vrai, de très réel qui du monde de te passe pour ça, right? Uh, many promote conformity to wider norms of society, such as acceptance of traditional gender roles. Okay. Now you have the mass media, a major sources of information, ideas, norms, and values. Uh, yes. Uh, major sources of information, ideas, norms, and values, as well as spreading images of, for instance, fashion, music, role models, and lifestyles that can influence people's values and behaviors. C'est vrai, c'est souvent des fois. We are very much influenced by what we see in the mass media, okay? Uh, sometimes you have in fashion, you want to have this type of fashion, c'est quelque chose qui bouge très vite, qui um, changes very quickly. You have music, you have role models, etc. So you get influenced by this through the mass media. Then you have religious institutions, it is spread beliefs uh, which influence people's ideas about right and wrong behavior, important values and norms and morality, and this may in turn affect the behavior of individuals. You know, an individual who is not well socialized. Si un individu pas bien socialisé, ça aurait pu dire individu ramasser un peu problème dans la société parce que the other people, they might find him uh, not... Je peux savoir ce qui se passe là. Is anyone sleeping? Mr. Besgit? Are you sleeping? There's only one person who is unmute, and that Mr. Basgit. Where are you? Are you there, Mr. Basgit? Sleeping or what? Are you following the class or are you sleeping, Mr. Basket? Mm 
He was sleeping. Yes, he was sleeping. He was snoring. Je tiendrai ça en compte, alors, Mr. Besky. No worries. I guess he has slept. He's still here. Mr. Besky, are you here? Okay, let's continue. Yes. I'll deal with him later on. Mais ça, c'est très vilain, ça. I'm sorry to say this is disgusting. I'm doing a class. And a student keep. Are you there, Mr. Basket? Are you following the class or are you sleeping? No, no, I am here. Pardon? Hello? I guess you fell asleep, you were snoring or what? You were sleeping, Mr. Basket, because I heard you, you were snoring. Yes, Mr. Basket, you were sleeping. Miss enfants, ça que tu veux dormir. Ah bon, on fait comme ça? Il est malade. Yes, but Mr. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say, but you have a class to follow. I understand you have other commitments, but please follow the class, then you'll, you'll get on with other commitments, please. I'm doing a class, we have so many students here, and I can't go on like this, you are disturbing my class. So please, I hate that thing when I have to explain and you dis you really, this is disgusting. So I'll carry on. I'll talk to you later, Mr. Vesky. This is really disgusting. So yes, we were talking about the religious institutions where you have been, you, you are being, they are here to spread the beliefs which people influence, which influence people's ideas. That we have the religious institutions, we tend to abide by the rules and regulations set by the religious institutions, isn't it? Because because we believe that these are here to uh, mold our identity, to mold our uh, our personality, okay? For us to become better citizens, good citizens, right? Uh, now you have the workplace. Now in the workplace, it involves learning about and conforming to the social rules governing um, work, like being punctual, regular attendance and understanding hierarchy, right? Now in the workplace, as I told you, you are going to learn, you will, you will get, you will get whatever you have learned during the um, hidden curriculum. When you go at the workplace, it involves learning about and conforming to the social rules, governing work, like being virtual, regular attendance, and understanding hierarchy. To ça, au fait, c'est fini après the hidden curriculum, because it's the college, right? Et c'est ça même qui lit. Boucher, living the côté, living the workplace. This is where you have, uh, you, you need to have that good uh, hidden curriculum. And a beaucoup de élèves qui se font casser la tête avec sa hidden curriculum. Là, ça, c'est ça le gros souci qu'on a actuellement. Ces bons élèves se font casser la tête. That, that respect for elders, punctuality, ou même understanding hierarchy, c'est quelque chose de très souvent qui nous trouvait bon jeunes, je pas capable à de
Okay, let's continue. So, uh, yes, I was talking about the workplace. It's exactly what you have been learning during the hidden curriculum when you were at, uh, at college. This is what you're going to, to put into practice when you go to work. As I said, like virtual, big virtual, regular attendance and understanding hierarchy. Now, what is high culture? High culture refers to cultural products seem to be of lasting uh, artistic or literary value, which are particularly admired and approved of by elites at the upper middle class. Ça, c'est high class. Par exemple, quand on vous dit, ouais, ça va high class, c'est pas du monde qui est assez, euh, like the capitalist. They are well off. They are well off people who are well off. And then they, they normally go to those um, ban concert piano, ban concert, ban, uh, Vénissage, ban, euh, on va ça, euh, tout ban truc littéraire, tout ban, ban d'affaires littéraires, ban d'affaires, ban exposition artistique, tout ça. So, this is mainly reserved to the high class. Then you have a folk culture. It is the culture created by local communities and is rooted in the experiences, customs, and beliefs of the everyday life of ordinary people. Okay. For example, mass circulation of magazines, extensive coverage of celebrities, reality TV shows, rock and pop music, video games, blockbusters, feature films for the mass market. This is for culture study. It is the culture which is created by the local communities. This is for culture. Parik Manu, ici Boris Vena, nous sega, nous sega, nous faisait dire this is a for culture parce que c'est quelque chose qui est créé par le, euh, le, le, la population locale, c'est quelque chose qui, qui est là, c'est nous, identité, nous, ma dire depuis nos racines, ça. Okay. Then you have mass culture. Mass culture, sometimes called popular culture or low culture, refers to cultural products produced for sale to the mass of ordinary people. These involve mass produced, standardized, short lived products of no lasting value, which are seen to demand little critical thought, analysis, or discussion. So, the mass culture, c'est principalement called popular or low culture, it refers to cultural products produced for sale to the mass of ordinary people. Oh, ça doit être, ça peut être un affaire qui of no lasting value and which are seen to demand little critical thought, analysis or discussion. C'est un affaire assez banal, pas trop important. Now, what is global culture? It refers to the way cultures in different countries of the world have become more alike, sharing uh, increasingly similar consumer products and ways of life. 
This has arisen as globalization has undermined national and local cultures. Now, when we talk of global culture, now, when we merge all these uh, cultures together, then we, when we say uh, globalization is like a global village, we get to Saban Peila, different cultures, etc. All merge ensemble. It has an increasingly similar consumer products and ways of life. When you realize we have so many things in common, en commun avec Manesu Peila, pourquoi? Because uh, the the borders nowadays they have been they have become very porous. We take it to the end pay, we can have shifted at the end of pay. Can you cause kitchen the cab and kitchen consumer? Ou, ou même, uh, vous avez la musique, vous avez uh, the fashion, etc. So all these things they are merged from one uh, country to another. Now, globalization, it is the growing interdependence of societies across the world with the spread of the same culture, consumer goods, and economic interests across the globe. Uh, globalization is quelque chose de très intéressant parce que ça a amené beaucoup de, de développement dans plusieurs pays parce que it has helped the uh, developed countries to help the underdeveloped or the undeveloped countries. Okay. Et aussi, uh, when we talk of global culture, c'est-à-dire que now that you have that mix of culture nowadays. You have mix of culture and you have a mix of identities also, which leads to a hybrid identity. Okay? Si vous êtes bien, dans beaucoup de vous êtes avec plusieurs identités. Mix, a mix of identities. Right? And a mix of culture, a mix of... Uh, Je suis capable de choisir qui type euh, la musique que envie écouter. Right? For example, you listen to all sorts of music, and from this all sorts of music, you just pick and choose which one you like most. Right? Ou sinon, tu es capable de même euh, accepter, euh, écouter plusieurs types de musique. You can, tu es capable par contre d'un seul qualité la musique, tu es capable par contre des trois qualités la musique. Okay, so this is where we talk of globalization. There is that big mix of culture, right? And mix of culture, mix of music, mix of fashion, etc. So this is known mainly as global culture. Uh, that's it. I'm done with the unit four. Then we are going to move on to unit six, right? It's about where my unit six could be. Okay, let's come to unit six, which is on sex, gender, and power at work. Now, what is sex? The term sex refers to the natural or biological differences between men and women, such as differences in genitals, internal reproductive organs, and body hair. Now, what is gender? Gender refers to the culturally created differences between men and women, which are learned through socialization. This is very important. You need to understand that uh, concept of gender. Because you can see in the, in the definition, it refers to culturally created differences, right? Il dépend de la culture. Hein? Et la culture, c'est capable de faire une différence comme elle est là, même poser un garçon et qu'elle est fille. Hein? Et la culture, il ne faut pas pour trop trouver la différence entre garçon et fille. Uh, let us take the Mauritian society. Mauritian society, à fond, la question de trouver la grande différence entre garçon et fille. Quand un garçon, on va dire, mais tu as loin de l'autre piédestal. Right? But you are going to, you will know that uh, there are countries nowadays in uh, Europe, in Europe, could ban l'école maternelle, promote 
euh, gender bias. Gender bias, c'est-à-dire que parfois, il n'y a pas euh, faire la différence entre garçon et petit fille. C'est-à-dire, je ne pas que mon frère des enfants là qui. qui est une différence entre garçon et petit fille. Et là, tu es bon, equal. Et que ben, garçon là, je puisse comprendre qui. Ouais, je peux trouver petit fille là, il est différent depuis 11 et 8. Mais à un très jeune âge, They are being instilled that value that they have to respect the girl, they how they have to behave towards the girl. Okay, so this is uh, how nowadays it, it becomes a little bit more interesting now because in a beaucoup uh, parents même ont une uh, tendance pour pas trop uh, uh, considérer sa 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 différence qui est là en garçon et qui fille là. Mais moi, pourquoi euh, la société mauricienne est encore beaucoup et ce fort, oui, long, oui, okay, tout beau, avant que ma dire ici vraiment adopter ça. D'accord? So, it is a culturally created difference between men and women which are learned through socialization. Now, what is gender identity? Gender identity refers to how people see themselves and how others see them um, in terms of their gender role and biological sex. Oh, this is your gender identity. C'est-à-dire, how do people see you? Comment du monde trouve toi? Ça aussi est important, because you are living in a society. Vous ne pouvez pas faire de la jeune, mais you are, you are among people. So how people see you, right? Now, what is gender discrimination? Now, discrimination is based on gender. That is, sex is a common civil rights violation. It takes many forms, including sexual harassment, pregnancy discrimination, and equal pay for women who actually do the same jobs as men. Now, la loi, la loi Ministry of Labor. Now, it is against the law to discriminate against anyone in the workplace because of their sex. Sex discrimination may be direct or indirect. So direct sex discrimination is when an employee is treating unfavorably because of their sex. Indirect sex, that sex discrimination occurs if employers or managers hold assumptions about what sort of work men and women are capable or not capable of doing. Right? Par exemple, il y a un petit peu de rendre d'un travail, il y a un monsieur qui m'a fait le même type de travail, mais il y a un petit peu de travail, il faut qu'il fasse un petit peu de travail. So, this is like a sort of indirect sex discrimination posti. Il y a un petit peu de travail. D'accord? Then you have to look for all these uh, acts. You need to know a little bit on these acts. That is Sex Discrimination Act 43 of 2002. You are going to check on all this. We have um, so, so, so many amendments for Conseil Namine all these years. I commence to teach at Open University in 2017. I guess you have all these acts, but you can read about the latest uh, amendments that have uh, been brought to these acts. So you have the Sex Discrimination Act, Equal Opportunities Act, Employment Act, Rights Act, and Domestic Violence Act. Then, uh, bon, comme je vous ai dit, il y a le Employment Rights Act de 2008. Mon croix a fait, bien sûr, un upgrade et un peu plus les autres affaires. Mais il y a quelque chose qui est encore still um, in a, you are still on the gear, okay? You have an, uh, maternity benefits, maternity leave extended from 12 to 14 weeks. You are put to do on site, you are put to do in a, applicable to both private and public sectors. Then you have maternity allowance, which is uh, 3,000 rupees, how some of you want it, so, applicable to only private sector. So all this, you can just look for this on uh, the on, uh, Google. Ou plus intéressant encore, 
Rock Lossit, Ministry of Labor. You're going to get all these things, you can read. You have maternity leaves, which are paid maternity leaves for free confinement, review of labor laws, whereby no limit on confinements. Now, miscarriage leave, you have two weeks leave on full pay. Then you have Employment Rights Act, to please check again all the amendments that have been brought. Breastfeeding, you have two breaks of half uh, hour or one break of one hour. No overtime work for pregnant women as from seven months of pregnancy. Work that can be detrimental to the health of mother and baby. Worker can produce a medical certificate in order to get another job. No employer shall terminate the employment or give notice of termination of employment when worker is on maternity leave. Right? Uh, then you have a section specific, you know, have been taken just to give you an idea. You have protection against termination of agreement, that is, an agreement shall not be terminated by an employer by reason of a worker's race, color, national extraction, social origin, pregnancy, religion, political opinion, sex, sexual orientation, status, marital status, or family responsibility. Tout ça n'a rien à voir avec le travail, etc. Then you have violence at work. No person shall harass sexually or otherwise. Assault, uh, or verbally abuse, swear or insult, express the intention to cause harm, bully or use threatening behavior towards, use aggressive gesture indicating intimidation, Contempt or disdain towards, by words or act hinder a worker in the course of or as a result of his work. To suffer by violence, violence at work is not permissible under these conditions. Now, Sex Discrimination Act, remuneration order, which are still discriminatory in terms of salary. I say again, this in a number of say you please check for all this. But auparavant, il y avait discrimination au niveau de salaire entre le entre l'homme et la femme in the salt industry, in the sugar industry, and in the tea industry. That is same nature of work and same conditions of work, but different salary for men and women. Très très discriminatoire. But nowadays, I guess there are so many amendments brought to that. Okay, you please check on all that. A major feature of social status of men and women is dominance of men in virtually every aspect of modern life. Culturally, is this hegemony can be explained in various ways from a variety of perspectives. Evolutionary approach suggests that gender roles have evolved over large expanses of time. Uh, the major feature of social status of men, we are, it's mainly about patriarchy, okay? There are many uh, situations where there is patriarchy prevailing. And when there is patriarchy prevailing, especially, you know, Mauritius is mainly a patriarchal society. Malgré ben madame peut faire visager tout, absolument tout travail qui est réservé à Van Miché autrefois, par exemple, que ce soit absolument tout, un pilote, pilote d'avion, pilote d'hélicoptère, euh, <coughs> plombier, etc., presque tout. Now, these works nowadays are taken up by uh, women. Okay, bon, ben, madame qui fait tout ça dans le travail là, il y a rien de discriminatoire. Then you have culturally instilled hegemony can be explained in various ways from a variety of perspectives. Hegemony, c'est à dire que tout le temps la société indie au Québec tel travail c'est réservé à nous. Right? Pareil que moi, une fille hindou, quand elle peut dire ce parent, tu connais mon intérêt pour un policier, entre mes affaires par là, peut dire comme ça. Tu connais ça, regardez, c'est ce que c'est, ça, c'est ce que c'est. Soit il y a qui te parle qui est là, bah, toi, tu peux faire ça, hein. So nowadays, I guess uh, I'm pretty sure nowadays that quelque part il y a une 
changement de mentalité de, des parents maintenant et des parents qui, je peux un peu plus promote what the, 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 their children want to achieve in life. Moi-même, j'ai une fille, elle est grande, elle a 28 ans, she is doing, j'arrive à un point, écoute, mais tu disais, I had to leave it to her to choose whatever she wants to do in her life, parce que, uh, d'accord, nous, nos parents, we are there to just instill that norms and values, instill all, all the values that we can as parents. Bien sûr, comme parents, on cherche quelque chose de, de plus, uh, the best for our, for our children, ça c'est sûr, right? Uh, my daughter, she has completed, uh, when she completed her HSC, she, she did uh, BSc Sociology Specialization in Gender, right? She got very good results, but she pensais she could continue that, but she was not interested in pursuing to become an academy. But when she did uh, uh, HSC, she was first prize winner in Mauritius in arts. She got A plus in arts. Mais seulement moi, quand j'ai voulu faire un, au début faire un degré académique, quand tu peux gagner, qu'il est plus capable de travailler après. Mais malheureusement, quand elle finit, quand elle finit faire ce degré, ce first degree, she wanted to do that a BA fine arts. Okay, she wanted to do BA fine arts. And now actually she's uh, almost completing, uh, I had to let her do whatever she wanted. Um, she's uh, now completing, she will be completing soon in July, she will be completing her final, that is completing her second uh, degree. Mais en même temps, ma fille, elle a fait des expositions, elle a déjà fait des expositions à Inesport, etc. Et des fois, oui. We as parents, we think, okay, this is best for her, but if she's not interested in that, mais je me plains pas, she does whatever she wants, mais elle est grande, mais elle avait du temps, il fait ce qu'il y a envie, mais she's on the right track because it's something that she's really interested in doing, right? Then you have evolutionary approach, which suggests that gender roles have evolved, Yes, we can say that gender roles have evolved, c'est-à-dire, il y a beaucoup de choses qui ne sont plus réservées seulement à l'homme ou seulement réservées à la femme. Now, we, women have come a long way in establishing their base worth and value in modern society, c'est vrai. Male dominance in contemporary society is a function, function of culturally instilled patriarchy that not only favors men, but also oppresses women in, us, in our society. It's true, oppression is still there. We won't be able to uh, eliminate completely, okay, oppression because it's still there. I again say because uh, we are living in a patriarchal society. Patriarchy ni la, mais toujours la, mais qu'il fasse un degree of patriarchy which has decreased. Mais il est toujours là, il est toujours dans nos sociétés. Right? Men are the dominant group and women are the subordinated group in our society. Feminist philosophers point out the great suffering women have experienced over the years and the discrimination faced by faced every day in these older times. Uh, causes of that were once marginalized as women's issues have now moved at the center of the nation's political agenda. Not only are women well-versed in the topics, but their transformative leadership style making institutions more transparent, responsive, accountable, and ethical has been found to be more effective in leading modern organization than men's transactional approach, according to a Harvard Business Review analysis. Women are best suited to steer this hotly debated issue to a successful solution and lead our society, country from crisis to prosperity. Uh, I personally, I feel that we women, we are the best managers. 
because we need to manage between our family and we have to manage between our work, right? Uh, in that idea, I did, I, I'm doing, I'm almost completing my uh, PhD. And I'm doing my PhD exactly on this thing. I'm doing my PhD on spousal support and work family conflicts. How work and family, they come into conflict and how does spousal support gets in? A key point, and Michel Pé et Madame, qui constate qui l'intensité work family conflict ça fait, in Andy, ou bien les diminuer, ou bien les augmenter. And I'm also doing that on a shift and non-shift work, so it's a big, a big work ahead. Now you have a critical mass. A critical mass, c'est tout simplement, uh, we need a critical mass of women, not just within organizations, but in senior levels of leadership and of course to make a difference. Critical mass is the idea that has moved from science to sociology to political science. It refers to the quantity needed to start the chain reaction, irreversible proportion into a new situation or process. Let me just explain to you what is the critical mass. For example, uh, yeah. For example, and Madame, the Lui peut faire la politique, right? Il commence faire la politique, il joint le parti, il commence faire la politique, la politique active, et bien il terrain, il commence. Moi je sais, il commence la bourse de terrain, il commence euh, faire la, poli la politique active. Il pose candidat, il vient ministre, Madame la vient ministre, right? Admettons le min vient ministre des droits de la femme. Il ministère tout le temps, mais je peux bien compter ça, moi, du même au ministre, mais je peux bien compter avec le ministre, c'est tout. Et le ministre, elle commence à travailler. Then, other women go to, and who want to meet her. Right? Logiquement parlant, logiquement parlant, madame, là, si vous posez des épaules, ben, les autres madame, pareil, pour aller. Try to listen to these women just to make that difference. Can you because make that difference? But then the good doléance, and they should madam, poly capable, et ça va madam. Est-ce que c'est ça qui a révélé dans le pays actuellement? Est-ce que c'est ça qui est là? Non. Il fait? Non. Qui fait peine? Et madame, euh, la ministre n'a pas le pouvoir maintenant, il va pas à l'écoute. Qui fait les pas à l'écoute? Le status in grandi. Ok, le status in grandi, bien bon. Femme l'aide une ministre. Est-ce que c'est ça qui nous attend en madame là? Non, of course not. Parce que avant l'aide une ministre, il me dit bon, tu la côte, il me dit tu la côte, il me dit tu la côte, oui, non. Les supposés que madame là est une ministre, madame là pour faire la différence, comment va arriver madame là pour faire la différence, c'est qu'il travaille pour les peuples, il travaille pour sa population là. Mais malheureusement, ce qui nous trouvait ici à Maurice, c'est comment je gagne ça à ces Marocains là, je gagne une plateau 24 carats. Sorry, comme ça, qui dit ça. Right? They won't look behind themselves. A cette dimanche, un rendez-vous aussi. Rare, même pas pour gagner rendez-vous. Oublier ça pour gagner rendez-vous aux autres. Ils peuvent vivre qu'on est déjà tard, ils pas gagner le temps. So this is the critical mass. Mais il y a bizarre, il y a un certain euh, groupe. Disons, euh, dis-moi, disons, dis-moi, moi, moi, fini mon pied. Tu dis, mon pied rentre dans la politique. Right? Ce qu'il faut faire avant de rentrer dans la politique, I try to gather women who have the same perspective as me. Moi, je suis en train de travailler depuis tout le temps. Je suis depuis en bas, je suis monté. Je suis en MSO à la ministre. Et je suis toujours en train de travailler. Je suis en MSO, mais je fais un doctorat. Je suis lecturier aussi. Moi, je suis plus content que je me suis fini, je me suis fait quelque chose pour ça, je suis plus récro. 
à un groupe, madame, qui n'a même perspective que moi. Then we form a group <coughs> that, that group, that group, that group, nous avons le calcul candidat. Il n'y a pas nous comme un récit élit. Donc, vous allez devoir travailler pour eux. Et un autre exemple aussi que je vais vous donner, qui est un exemple, c'est tout simplement prenez l'exemple de notre ex-présidente du pays, de la République, M. Amina Karib. Bon, avec une jacques date, il met là comme Monsieur, comme euh, président de, de, de Maurice, mais elle n'a pas pu tenir ça, even, même pas pour un, un bon bout de l'État. And then I'll ask her, what has she been doing for the people, for women, malgré les femmes, femme, qu'il est faire pour femmes vraiment? Maintenant, ça, quelqu'un est fané, c'est par ici, par là, là, il porte à tête à l'identité de la femme mauricienne dans le sens qui, oui, people, nous peut faire comme ça, pour nous monter, pour nous casser sa glace, si là, comment dire, pour nous arriver à top, à top euh, euh, position dans, dans la vie, mais il fait nous dégringoler, c'est coup, qui gouvernement a pour admettre une femme à la tête d'un pays, c'est-à-dire une, une présidente de, de la République, je ne trouve pas quelqu'un qui va le Quelque part, l'une d'une femme mauricienne a un mauvais coup, moi, je peux dire franchement, moi, je trouve ça comme ça, l'une d'une femme mauricienne a un mauvais coup, qui autant d'efforts que vous pouvez faire pour nous monter, l'une des années, c'est que c'est six fois sur une faille qui nous fait. Et surtout, moi, quelque chose qui me trouve très révoltant, c'est que she is at the uh, state house, mais je suis désolée de dire, il n'y a pas de fait uh, non, il n'y a absolument non. Il n'y a pas pour la population, il n'y a pas pour la population, mais pour le genre de la femme, il n'y a pas de fait non. Hein? Et pas un zoo, il trouve lui, il quitte sa state house là, pour les bouser, il n'y a pas fait quelque chose constructif d'un pays là. C'est vraiment navrant des femmes, mais du moment qui fait y a une femme qui s'est apprendre autant, qui n'est pas capable de faire dans rien pour vous aider. pays. I would like, I, I always say, moi, il y a un rêve tout le temps dans mon vie, tout le temps dans mon vie, ou bien quand on vient d'un ministre, I would like to become the minister of gender, parce qu'il m'a envie vraiment de faire la différence entre eux, parce qu'il m'a dit, vous me commencez en bas, vous me montez. Comme dit, cause I have been so, so much hardship with all sorts of problems. Tout le monde parle pas mes yeux, il y a beaucoup de monde, madame, qui m'a dit, par contre, we are living on the bed of roses. Right? Nous avons des problèmes, nous avons des problèmes familiales, nous avons toutes sortes de problèmes. But still, we look forward to study. Right? We look forward to study. À ce qu'on peut étudier là aussi, c'est pas, toujours, c'est pas donné, comme on dit, belles affaires, mais, nous avons beaucoup de sacrifices pour faire des gens, nous avons une famille, nous avons des enfants, nous avons des paris, nous avons des paris, nous avons C'est quelque chose de très, c'est une la croix qui nous fait ça, nous avons des vies. Hein? Mais c'est vrai, c'est quand tu arrives à un top niveau de ton man, pour aller le faire, et puis aller promener Dubaï, puis quand tu parles de chaque pas ici, pas là, mais le plan, tout le côté, il y a quelque chose pour du monde qui est plus visible. C'est très révoltant. Je ne comprends pas pourquoi les gens font ça. Maybe, je ne sais pas si j'ai des stèques qui n'écrivent, 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 mais même si je n'ai pas des stèques qui n'écrivent, je pense que je vais essayer de faire quelque chose pour les femmes, je ne peux pas être un coup, parce que c'est... En fait, je peux apprendre pour quelque part, justement, faire la différence, parce que je apprends beaucoup à faire, surtout quand je fais mon master en, en social development, j'ai travaillé tellement, je fais tellement de choses, je fais tellement de choses, je apprends beaucoup d'affaires, mais et avec mon pied étudiant, je apprends encore plus, plus beaucoup d'affaires. Et j'espère jusqu'à plus tard, je vais être capable de faire cette différence. Donc, c'est tout ce qui est appelé le critique de la classe. J'espère que vous avez bien compris ce qu'est le critique de la classe. J'espère que vous avez bien compris ce qu'est le critique de la classe. C'est quelque chose de très, très important. Que, et dans beaucoup de choses, je ne vais pas réaliser. Je trouve que c'est le passé de la classe. Mais c'est le critique de la classe. Actuellement, il y a beaucoup de... Il y a pas le moment, madame. Hmm. 
I wonder what they are doing exactly. Does this trouve ça totalement? Je peux tout faire sans chocolat. Ben c'est tout. What next? On ne sait pas. I really don't know. Concrètement, qu'est-ce qu'elle faut pour les femmes? Surtout pour les femmes. Je ne sais pas. Right? Uh, that last one that you can read, ça c'est quelque chose que j'ai mis pour vous. Ben, c'est tout. We have uh, completed oh unit 4 and unit 6. Uh, on aura notre dernière classe, je crois, le 28. N'est-ce pas? Oh. Isn't it? We are going to have our last class on the 28. Oui? Uh, so you please read everything that I have sent you. If you have, uh, il me reste trois minutes. Si vous avez des questions, dites-moi. Vous avez des questions? C'est ce qu'on a fait aujourd'hui? Madame? Oui? Est-ce que vous, vous pouvez, si vous pouvez, expliquer ma sculpture? Pardon? Dans unit uh, four. Oui. Ma sculpture. Ma sculpture. Oui. Donnez-moi une minute. Euh... Allons. Ma sculpture. Yes, ma sculpture. It is sometimes called popular cultural culture. It refers to cultural products produced for sale to the mass of ordinary people. This involves mass-produced standardized short-lived products of no lasting value, which are seen to demand little critical value. Mass culture, c'est tout simplement pas affaire qui qui ne pas banana cassette, ban CD, disons ban CD, ban affaire qui peut servir pour la population, ban affaire. Regardez-moi, ouais, CD passé. Oui, oui, principalement, on a fait comme ça. On a fait qui pas pour attirer beaucoup de critiques. Il y a des belles affaires pour dire là, mais c'est bon, c'est pour la population, c'est pour les ordinary people, c'est pour la masse, c'est pour les ordinary people. OK? Any other question? In our last class, we can uh, discuss more about uh, things that you don't understand. You can start revising, because you have to prepare the exam, of course. If you have any questions, you can learn that in our last class, that is to say, as I said, on the 28th of May. I hope that you have understood. Um, you, you please read the handouts. Pardon? Please examine. Je ne sais pas. I don't know. It all depends upon the university. I don't know which dates they have a plan to put the exams. Okay, thank you. All right. Il me reste une minute. Uh, we'll stop here for today. Si vous, on, on va discuter plus de questions. Vous avez, you please revise. Then we are going to uh, discuss more uh, uh, in our next uh, last class, it's at the event. C'est clair? Merci. Merci, madame. Très bien, madame. Okay. Très bien. Okay, so I leave you because it's going to stop. Je vous vois le 28. Je vous remercie. I'll check out with that guy who was sleeping later on. Très excitant. J'espère que vous avez compris. Okay.